first I make a template and uh, yeah, then I transfer it to a piece of leather. It's the same principle as the uh, birch bark container I made uh, in birch bark and in leather. So I just transfer the template to a piece of leather. And uh, then I use this to punch out the holes. Yeah, and just cut these slides so we can be put together. And uh, because it's very small, it's uh, a little bit difficult uh, to put it together, but uh, do this and then just put it down in the holes. And I used the plier to uh, pull them through so that it was uh, all the way through the holes. That looks fine. And uh, then I use um, such a stick that I press the leather over so it will stay in place and uh, I will mold in place. I actually uh, made it wet first. I found that that was more easy. had to make six of these. Then I had to make the bottom and the top, the lid. And uh, you can see I did it this way, just cut them out with a saw. Yeah. And uh, it's a tight fit. And it has to be that. And uh, yeah, this is for the lids, so I can uh, pull them up from the little container. You can see here some leather straps. How I did that? Drill a little hole in the lid. And uh, use the little string to uh, pull them through the hole and added a little bit of uh, glue. Then I just had to cut the string and at the bottom uh, a string and some of the leather. Yeah, then I burned it uh, with my laser burner so I could see uh, what kind of salt there was in and um, this one was for my blueberry salt, BB, and I also burned them or made some ornaments on the side with my laser burner. Now all six are finished 
and uh, I can begin to make the, uh, the little bag case for it. Just measure it, how big it's going to be, and uh, going to make a template on this cardboard. It's very important to make a template so uh, you make it right from the start. And then I fold it uh, as it should be, the sides up. and uh, the top like this and I tried it and uh, yeah it was a little bit too big at the top the sides were too big so I cut a little bit away and now you can see it fits nicely yeah, so this is the final template and uh, yeah, I was going to make uh, such a one in the middle, I'll show you that later. And then I transfer the template to a piece of leather. Cut it out. And I decided to make the a lid round here. You'll see that later, just to make it more soft and pretty. And then again, I try it, always checking if anything is wrong, and it looks fine. Then I use some sandpaper. I like that surface and I had to make these sludge for the middle part and um, again transfer it to the leather. This was a little bit tricky to uh, carve them out but uh, with these tools I managed and it actually went well. They are a little bit rough in the edges so I used a little file to smoothen them and checking that it was right size for the leather. Then I mark where the stitching are going to be. And this way you will have the stitch uh, in the same position all over. And uh, doing this, smoothen the edges so it looks more uh, finished. It's the small details that make uh, the difference I think and uh, I made a video of all my uh, leather works you can find that on my YouTube channel and then I make the holes uh, for the stitching Yeah, now I finished, you can see, and then I start sewing it together.
just have to secure it first with a double stitch here. And then I can start uh, doing my cross stitching. You can see here what I mean about that. It means that the threads are crossing each other. Like this. And then I just have to continue doing the same thing. Again, I made a lot of tutorials about this, so uh, you can go in, check them out on my YouTube channel, DIY Kimber, and you'll see, uh, and I explain it more how I make these stitching. And then for the final part, I have to secure it. I make a double notch. Then I just had to cut it off with a scissor, and now I'm halfway. Then I'm going to stitch it on the other side. Yeah, now it's finished, uh, the stitching. I mold it a little bit in place. And uh, again, checking, everything looks good. Then I had to make the, uh, the one in the middle that separates the two rows of uh, of the small containers. And this is why I made these on the sides, so I can put it together. I rounded them a bit. And yeah, it looks fine. Again checking. Everything is fine, yeah. And then I make markings where the holes are going to be. This is a little stick I have, I will use to secure it. And I had to find the right size of the hole to this little stick. That's a fine size. Yips. And again, rounding the edges so they appear smooth. I also want to make something to close the, the little back. it the same way as the sides. So I have to find the middle. And transfer the little hole from the template. And 
cut it out. Marking where the other thing are going to be. The little piece of leather I'm making now. A thin piece of leather. First I glue it only on the inner parts. And when that's dry I can put it together and just press it down. And when it's completely dry I can make it round. And see if the fits, yes. And then this way, I actually glue it on first. It was easier to uh, sew it on when it was attached to the leather. Again, a double knot, two times around, and tighten it. Yeah, then we're, was the locking system uh, ready, finished? Mm, and I also had to make a hole in that, the same size and uh, as the one in the, the sides. Yeah, then I applied some leather color and I used uh, something called tan, both on the inside and the outside. And when it's dried, I applied some uh, leather fat. Also on the inside. And then it's almost finished. I put the middle in and the, the little sticks. this on each side yeah and on the front a little bit bigger because I have to uh, remove it when I have to open it. So, yeah. Then the final test. And it fits nicely. And I can still close it. Then I would uh, fill the containers with the salt, blueberry salt and the pepper. And uh, BP stands for black pepper.
blueberry salt, BB, and the, the rest, finally, the lava salt. Yeah, now I have five count of salt and one pepper. I don't have my uh, ordinary sea salt in one of these because I have the old container for that. But uh, yeah, now it's finished and ready to go. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little project perhaps could be inspired to make something like this. It is fun to make these projects and uh, yeah. I know a lot of you are interested in leatherwork, so go ahead and make your own. <laughs>